Amen. God bless you on this Tuesday, uh, Tuesday evening at our Bible study here at the Griffin Evangelist Baptist Church. We thank God for every one of you for coming and tuning in with us. Amen. To enjoy the word of the Lord with us. Amen. That way we all will get an understanding. So we greet you in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus the Christ. So we give God praise for you, your family, your homes, wherever you may be. Amen. So thank you so much uh, for tuning in with us here at the Griffin Evanese Baptist Church in the great city of Pickens, South Carolina. So we just give God glory. And so we just want you to, amen, begin to share those like buttons. Amen. Tune your family in. Amen. That everybody can. Amen. Get at the word of the Lord today. Amen. Griffin Evanese Baptist Church family. Amen. Wherever you may be. Amen. Get to your Bibles. Get to your desk. Get to your study place. Amen. And let's enjoy the Lord tonight. Amen. We're going to open up with worship tonight and then we're going to go and begin to, amen, just minister in the word. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Come on, put your minds and your affections on things above. Amen. Because truly God is good all the time and all of the time. God is good. Amen. Can't nobody nowhere over such the nation over do us like the Lord can. Somebody said, I searched all over and still can't find nobody like the Lord. Amen. Come on. Amen. We have come into his house together in his name to worship him. We have come into this house Together in his name to worship him. We have come into this house. Gather in his name to worship Christ our Lord. Oh, worship him. Christ our Lord. So forget about yourself, concentrate on him and worship him. So forget about yourself, concentrate on him and worship him. So forget about yourself, concentrate on him and worship him. Christ our Lord, oh, worship him, Christ our Lord. Come on, I need you to participate with me. So lift, lift up holy hands and magnify his name and worship him. You at home, come on. So just lift up holy hands and Magnify the Lord and worship Him. So just lift up holy hands. Magnify the Lord and worship Christ our Lord. Oh, worship Him, Christ our Lord. We have come. That's what we came to do. We have come into this house together in the Lord's name to worship Him. We have come into the Lord's house together in His name to worship Christ our Lord. Oh, worship Him, Christ. Say yes, Lord, yes, to your will and to your way. I'll say yes, Lord, yes, I'm going to trust you and obey when your spirit speaks to me and my whole heart I will agree and my answer will be yes. 
Lord, yes. I'll say yes, Lord, yes. To your will and to your way. Would you say it? I'll say yes, Lord, yes. I will trust you and obey. For when your spirit speaks to me and my whole heart I will agree and my answer will be yes Lord yeah we have come into this house together in the Lord's name to worship him come on saints we have come into house together in the Lord's name to worship him. Now this is for you who don't understand. We have come into the Lord's presence together in his name to worship Christ our Lord. Oh, worship him. Christ our I love you, I love you, I love you, Lord, today, because you care for me in such a special way. That's all I praise you. I lift you up and I bless My heart, my mind, our soul belongs to you. You paid the price for me way back on Calvary. And that's why we praise you. We lift you up and in that fire. Oh, that's why, that's why our heart is filled with prayer. Oh, that's why, that's why our heart is filled with prayer. Oh, that's why, that's why our heart is filled with prayer. Come on, give God praise wherever you are. Let's go to the throne of grace. Father, we thank you tonight for your love and kindness. We thank you for your tender mercy. Lord, we thank you for your awesome hand. We thank you because you are God and you are God alone. We thank you because you rule and you super rule. We thank you because you are our maker. You are our creator. We thank you because you have not some power but all power was given unto you that which is in heaven and earth. So God we give you glory tonight. We give you praise. We ask you God to just manifest yourself in this Bible service tonight God. We ask you right now God to just have your way among your people. Those that are watching us by Facebook, YouTube, whatever channel they may be watching. God I pray God a special anointing upon them tonight. I pray God that you will lose some shackles and set them free tonight. God, I pray, God, that you will have your way, have your will in their lives. God, move like you can only move. Move, God, in such a way, God, that it would transform and it would change and it would, it would, it would, God, just give them hope that, God, you are still with them through the thick and through the thin. So right now, God, we lift you up. We give you glory. We give you praise. We give you honor. Because for thine shall the glory be forevermore. So, God, have your way. Loose us tonight, God. Let some let somebody be healed tonight. Let somebody be delivered tonight. Let somebody be set free tonight. We pray in the name of the Lord Jesus that your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. So right now, God, we glorify you. We thank you. We give you praise. And we give you honor. It's in the mighty, majestic name 
of Jesus the Christ. Amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Come on, just worship again with us. Hey, hallelujah. My soul loves Jesus. Oh, my soul loves Jesus. Oh, my soul loves about the Holy Spirit is God. So tonight, amen, we talked about again on last week, the Holy Spirit, amen, the Holy Spirit is God. That was last week, amen. Our entire topic is dealing with the Holy Spirit and the Trinity. So tonight, amen, we're going to deal with, amen, in our second series tonight, we're dealing with the Holy Spirit Amen and God. Amen. Listen, the Holy Spirit and God. Last week, we talked about the Holy Spirit is God. Now we're talking about the Holy Spirit and God. Amen. The Holy Spirit 
and God. So won't you get your Bibles all over this place, all over you, wherever you may be, home, amen, wherever you are, get the word of the Lord in your hand, in your, amen, in your, in your possession, amen, and let's go to the Bible tonight, amen, I want to go, amen, uh, to the book, amen, of Genesis, it talks about the spirit of God, amen, in the book of Genesis, Amen. If you would go there with us, it's talking about the spirit. Amen. The, it's talking about the spirit of God. Amen. Spirit of God. Amen. In the book of Genesis chapter 1. Amen. If you know with us tonight. Amen. In that book, I'm reading out of the New International, the New the New Living Trans, uh, Translation again, amen, the New Living, amen, translation version tonight. So go with us tonight, if you will. We're talking about, once again, once again, amen, the Holy Spirit and God. Last week was the Holy Spirit is God. Now, tonight, the Holy Spirit and God. Amen. Spirit of God in the book of Genesis, it talks about the spirit of God. It says in the beginning, 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 before the beginning became the beginning, in the beginning. Amen. Before the, before there ever was a beginning, in the beginning. Amen. That's when the beginning began, in the beginning. Amen. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Yes, that's what it says. God created the heavens and the earth. Now the earth was formless. Amen. It was shapeless. Amen. It was formless. No shape to it at all. It was formless and empty. Darkness was over the face of the deep or the surface of the deep and the spirit here it goes and the spirit of God was hovering hovering like a cloud hovering over the waters now why was God hovering why the spirit of God was hovering over the water and the reason why he was hovering over the water is because I love the way the old school says uh, uh, the men of old says uh, uh, they asked the question where did God come from God didn't have to come from nowhere because he already was amen so he's coming from nowhere amen standing on nothing he's hovering over the waters because there's nowhere for him to stand but standing on nothing the Bible says, standing on nothing, watch what it says, standing on nothing, and God said, let there be light. Listen, he's hovering over the waters. He's hovering because there's nowhere for him to stand. He has no platform. Amen. And the reason he's able to stand on nothing is because there's nowhere for him to stand on. Lord bless me tonight. Amen. So God, amen, amen, the spirit of God. Amen. Go with me to second of uh, First Corinthians, if you will. Go with me to First Corinthians. First Corinthians, amen. Three. And note with me, amen. Round verse 16. Uh, glory to God. Amen. Round verse 16. It says, Amen. Don't, don't you know? That you yourselves are God's temple, and the and that God's spirit dwells in your midst. Amen. Don't you know? Listen here. Don't you know, believers? Don't you know, children of God? Don't you know that? You yourselves are God's temple. Amen. We are the temple of God. This is what he's saying. That we are God's temple. Amen. It's not talking about this building. It's talking about you. It's talking about the inside of you. We are the temple where the spirit of God dwells. Where the spirit of the Lord lives on the inside of us. We are his temple. Amen. We are the temple of of the most high God. Amen. We are the temple. This is what he said. 
We are the temple. We are the temple. And that God's spirit dwells in the midst. Amen. Right in the midst, in your heart. Amen. That's why the Bible says, out of your belly shall flow rivers of the living water. Amen. Because the spirit of the living God is in the midst. Amen. Of us. Amen. Amen. Or in the midst or inside. Amen. Of you and in me. Amen. This is so important. Amen. That's why we got to understand. Amen. The spirit of God. Amen. I want you to go with me. Amen. That's that's number one. Number two is spirit of the Lord. Now we dealt with the spirit of God. Now let's deal with the spirit. Let's deal with the spirit of the Lord, if you will. Go with me to your word of the Lord tonight. Go with me to the word of the Lord tonight. Amen. Go with me to the word of the Lord tonight. Amen. Listen, the spirit of the Lord. Amen. Uh, go with me to Isaiah. I'm going to skip. Go, go in your own legions, get judges, and go to Judges chapter 3, verse 10. But I'm going to, amen, focus on Isaiah chapter number 11, if you will, tonight. Amen. Isaiah, amen. Amen. God bless us tonight. Isaiah. There you go. Eleven, chapter eleven. Isaiah chapter eleven, verse two. Amen. Isaiah chapter eleven, verse two. Amen. I want you to get this tonight. Amen. And watch what he says here in Isaiah chapter eleven, verse number two. Amen. Isaiah chapter eleven, verse number two. It says, "The spirit of the Lord will rest on him." The spirit of wisdom, the spirit of understanding, the spirit of counsel and of might. Watch what he said. The spirit of knowledge and fear of the Lord. And he will delight in the fear of the Lord. He will not judge by what he sees. Amen. He will not judge by what he sees with his eyes or decide by what he hears with his ears. Amen. But the thing is the spirit of the Lord. Amen. The spirit of the Lord will rest on him. This is why it's so important that the spirit of the Lord rest on us. Amen. This is why it is so important that God's spirit, amen, rest on the inside of each and every one of us because we are a people that become so quickly to become, uh, to become a judgmental, amen. He said he would not judge by what he see or what he hear. Why? Because the spirit of the Lord is upon him. So sometimes we become bitrupative in condemning and judging people. Amen. Because, amen, you always want to see flaws in others. But if the Spirit of the Lord rests on you, amen, in other, in other words, instead of seeing other folks' fault, you will see their need. That's when you now allow the Spirit of the Lord to rest upon you. And when the Spirit of the Lord rests upon you, my brothers and sisters, watch this here. When it rests upon you, amen. Not only that, not only when it rests upon you, the spirit, of, the spirit of wisdom and of understanding. Amen. Amen. The spirit of wisdom, and you got to understand the spirit of wisdom and the spirit of understanding. Amen. You might not understand everything, but the Lord will give it to you when he rests upon you. You won't be quick to become bitrupative in condemning and judging people when you allow the spirit of the Lord to rest upon you. This is what I like about this verse. He said, I, he will not judge by what he sees. Amen. Like some of us do, we always judge it for by what we see. Amen. But instead of having compassion, instead of allowing God, the Holy Spirit, amen, to rest on us, that way we can look at 
others differently. Because trust me, what I'm telling you, amen, all of us, amen, people can look at all of us and find something, find some kind of fault, find some kind of error in us. But thanks be to God who gives us the victory through Jesus Christ our Lord. Listen, you've got to understand, he's not going to judge us by what he sees, no what he hears. Amen. And we are so we are so caught up uh, in, in so much gossip about what we hear. Amen. We'll go on what we hear regardless if it ain't true or not. So the Spirit of the Lord ought to be able to rest upon us. Amen. Stop becoming so, amen, by troopative in condemning and judging people. Amen. First of all, you've got to get the beam out of your own eye before you can poke the moke out of somebody else's eye. Amen. And then look at this in with me also. Amen. Go with me also. Amen. To Isaiah again. Chapter number 48. Isaiah 48. Isaiah 48. Isaiah chapter 48. Around verse 16. And when you have it, say amen. Amen. Listen, listen to what it says in Isaiah chapter 48. Isaiah chapter 48, around verse 16. He said, come near. Come near me and listen to this. Come near me and listen to this from the first announcement. I have not spake in silence, in secret, excuse me, the time it happens, I am there. And now the sovereign Lord has sent me. Yeah, the sovereign Lord has sent me. Amen. Endure it with his spirit. Amen. He said, the sovereign Lord has sent me. Amen. And he sent me with his spirit. Amen. He sent me with his spirit. Amen. He sent me because uh, the spirit is embedded on the inside of me. He sent me. He has sent me with his spirit. And this is when you got to know, amen, how to come to people, amen. The Lord ought to be able to send you with his spirit and the spirit of the Lord on the inside of you. Amen. Stop going about what folks say and what they say. And what, let the spirit of the Lord, amen, lead you because when it rests upon you, it's going to lead and guide you into all truth. Amen. Watch what it says here. Amen. In Genesis chapter number six. Genesis chapter number six. Round verse. Number three. Genesis chapter number three. Round verse number six. It says, then the Lord said, my spirit will not Continue with humans forever. This is what he says now. Amen. The Spirit of the Lord said. The Spirit of the Lord says. Amen. The Lord, then the Lord said. Then the Lord said. Not me, not the Lord. The Lord says, my spirit will not continue with the humans forever. For they are Mortar. Their days will be a hundred and twenty years. Amen. He said, My spirit will not always scribe with man. Amen. It will not always scribe with man. Amen. This is why, amen. You ever see these people are so caught up. Amen. All every time you see him, hallelujah, praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. He come outside, see the suit, come on the hunter with the Bible, see the come outside. No, baby, the Spirit of God don't always scribe with you. Amen. Come down to earth. Amen. We're still here on earth. 
Amen. Come down. Amen. Come to earth. Get understanding. Get wisdom. Get knowledge. Amen. The Spirit of the Lord don't always cry with humans because we're still mortal. We're still human. Amen. You ain't no, you're not always in the Spirit now. Amen. The Spirit always going to rest on us. Amen. You can't take it if it rests on you 24 7. Amen. It lives on the inside of us. Amen. 24 7. But he said, My spirit would not, amen, abide with man forever. Amen. You can take it. Amen. That's why I've got to be on the inside of you. Amen. Remember on the day of Pentecost, the Bible said when it was in the upper room, the Bible said, and the spirit, amen, came and sat on each of them. And amen. And watch what happened. And when it sat on each of them, the Bible said, and they began to speak with tongues as the spirit. Gave them utterance. Amen. Amen. That's what happens. Amen. When the Spirit of the Lord, Amen, rests upon you. Amen. But notice they didn't always stay in there. Amen. Amen. They always they didn't always stay there. Amen. They were still human. They were still, Amen. They would still say, Hey, how you doing? Every time you see some folk, Amen, you ask them, Hey, how you doing? Oh, praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. No, baby. I asked you how he was doing. Not all of that. Did they say I'm fine? Amen. Give me the verbalization. If I say fine, and how are you? Amen. You ain't got to be so deep all the time. Amen. We as believers, we as children of God, Amen. We ought to be able to have. We we are joyful people. Amen. We ought to have. We ought to be able to be able to laugh. Be able to have a good time. Be able. To, amen. Talk. Amen. Laugh sometime. Come down from your from your ecclesiastical pedestal. Amen. Come down from your ecclesiastical pedestal. You in it, you, you don't have to always be up there. Amen. It's good to have a amen sense of humor. Amen. Sometime, amen, on this journey. Amen. Listen, go with me quickly to Psalms. Go with me to Psalms, the book of Psalms. Uh, the summit, Psalms. Psalms 139. Well, Psalms 139 and verse 7. When you have it, say amen. And if you don't have it, say I'm on the way. I meant Psalms 139 7. Listen to what it says. Listen to what it says. Where can I go? Listen to what the psalmist said. Listen to what he said. Where can I go from your spirit? He's, he's saying, where can I go from your spirit? Where can I flee from your presence? This is what he said. He asked the question, where can I go from your spirit? Where can I flee from your presence? The behold, the eyes of the Lord is in every place. Beholding the good and the evil. Amen. So my brothers and sisters, we can't go nowhere without the presence of God. Amen. No, not in the beginning. The Spirit of the Lord, amen, amen, hovered over the waters. And do you not know he's hovering right now? Amen. Yes, he is. He's watching over us. Amen, amen. His eyes is on the sparrow. And I know he watches me. That's where the old folk used to get it from. Amen. I ain't because you can't, you can't, you can't, you cannot, you cannot, I cannot. Where can I go from your spirit? Nowhere. Amen. That's the question. Where? Nowhere. Amen. I can't go nowhere without your spirit being there because the earth is the Lord and the fullness thereof and the cattle of a thousand hills belong to the Lord. So you and I cannot escape the spirit of God. Amen. Nor can we escape his presence. He's everywhere. Amen. That's what Michael Jackson must have said. Somebody 
God is watching you. And he's watching. He's watching. He's watching because his presence is everywhere. Amen. Go to Nehemiah. Amen. And that's, watch this here. Now, in Genesis, what I just read, in Genesis, and I mean, in Isaiah chapter 48, it's talk, it, was, it was his spirit. In Isaiah chapter, amen. Now, let me go back. Let me go back. I want you to catch this. The first thing was in uh, 1 Corinthians 3, it was the spirit of God. In the book of, amen, Isaiah 11, it was the spirit of the Lord. Now, in Isaiah 48, it was his spirit. And in Genesis chapter 6, verse 3, it said, my spirit. Now, in Psalms 139, it was the spirit. Amen. The spirit. Amen. The spirit. Now, as we move along in Nehemiah, it is called the good spirit. In Nehemiah chapter 9, Verse 20, it is called the good spirit. Amen. And it's good to have a good spirit. Amen. Now some of us, amen, and for all of us can be honest with ourselves, we can sometimes have a bad spirit. Amen. Amen. If you can't say amen, say, can't say amen, say oh my. Every night and then everybody can say oh my. Even the preacher can say oh my. Amen. Because sometimes we don't always have a good spirit. Amen. Amen. But listen, being children of God, amen, we all get in ourselves sometimes. We all, and we, because why? The Bible says, my spirit will not, amen, always strive with humans. Amen. We're not, we're not always strive with humans. Amen. Sometimes we will find ourselves in a bad place, in bad spirit. Amen. But we ought to remember and remind our own selves that the spirit of the Lord is hovering over us. Amen. And so, Amen. So we're talking about the good spirit. Go to Nehemiah chapter 9. Amen. Round verse 20. Nehemiah chapter 9. Round verse 20. Amen. When you have it, amen. Listen to what he said. You gave your good, you gave your good spirit uh, to instruct them. You gave your good spirit to instruct them. Amen. The good spirit that he gave, he gave it to us to give us instructions. Amen. You did not withhold your manual, listen, from their mouths. Amen. God still gave his good spirit, amen, when Israel, amen, amen, wanted to go out doing their own thing, amen. He still gave the manna from heaven. That's the good spirit. Amen. God, you know, and that's, I think that's where the story comes from. God is good all the time. And all the time, God is good. He gave his good spirit. Amen. Even, even in the wilderness, they're complaining. Even in the wilderness, they're, 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 they're saying to Moses, man, check this out. Amen. You brought us out here to die. But God still, amen, gave his good spirit, gave the manna, amen, from heaven. Amen. Watch what he says here in, in, in this book of Isaiah. Watch what he says. Watch what he says uh, in the book of Nehemiah. He says, you've given, you gave your good spirit, amen, to instruct them. You did not withhold your manner from their mouths. Listen here. And you gave them water, amen, for their thirst. That's a good God, y'all. Amen. He gives us food for our mouths. He gives us water for our thirst. Even though we don't deserve, amen. Even though we haven't always been good children, but God is a good father and he knows how to treat his children. Just like our parents, just like, amen, as a parent, amen. Amen. We know still, even our children are bad, we still give them food to eat and, amen, something to drink, clothes to wear. Amen. Houses to live in. Why? Because that shows our good spirit. And that's what the Lord is doing. He shows his good spirit even when we are bad children. He shows his good spirit 
to you and I. Even when we don't deserve it, he still blesses us. Lord Jesus, he still make ways out of no way. He still, amen, make our crooked place become straight. He still make our rough place become smooth. He still, amen, make ways out of no way. And then you and I can say if it had not been for the Lord on our side, where would we be? Thank you, Holy Ghost. So that's the good spirit. Watch the Holy Spirit. The next one is the Holy Spirit. It's Holy Spirit in Psalms, amen, in Psalms 51. I want you to go with me, Psalms 51. Go back with me to Psalms 51. And you ought to know it by heart, amen. Psalms 51. And note with me, around verse 11. Psalms 51, around verse 11. Amen. Watch what he say. Watch what he say. Here's David. David is talking. David is saying, this is what David said. Do not cast me from your presence. Or take your Holy Spirit from me. This is what he said. Do not cast me from your presence. Or take your Holy Spirit from me. But what was what's it? What's it? Because David, you know David's story. We all know David's story. Amen. David. Amen. Amen. David. David was a man after God's own heart. Amen. This is the same David. Amen. That 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 uh, uh had Darius' uh, wife. Amen. Had Darius. Amen. Killed and took. Amen. Uh, uh his wife and and looked through the window and saw, amen, her bathing and caressing herself. This is the same David that her and her husband on the front line had him killed. And the Bible said, amen, this is the same David. And I don't know uh, if David wrote this while uh, he was going through this transition, but David said, do not take, do not cast me away from your presence or take your Holy Spirit from me. But this is what he did say, restore the joy of my salvation. This one said, he said, create in me a clean heart and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from your presence, but fill me with thy free spirit. This is what David was saying. Amen. He said, he said, he said, he said, restore to me the joy of, watch this here. The, I love what he said. Restore to me the joy of not my joy, but the joy, not my joy, but the joy of your salvation. Because sometimes our joy can be different than his joy. You may take pleasure, you may take joy in other things that God don't take joy in. So David said, I had, uh, I don't want my kind of joy because my kind of joy got me in trouble. Mm. But give me your joy, restore the joy of your salvation. And if you restore the joy of your salvation, amen, I can walk the way you want me to walk. I can talk the way you want me to talk. I can live the way you want me to live. I just need the joy of your salvation. And I don't want you to take your spirit from me. Amen. I don't want you to take your spirit from me. Amen. But restore to me the joy of your salvation and grant me a willing spirit amen to sustain me that's good news y'all he said and grant me a willing spirit amen to sustain me to keep me to hold me amen to make me sit down and shut up to sustain me. Amen. Then I will teach transgressions your ways. Yes. So that sinners will turn back to you. This is what he said. Amen. Go with me quickly again. Go with me. Let's continue to move a little further. Amen. That's good news, y'all. Go with me to Isaiah. 
Once again, go, with, go back with me to Isaiah. Isaiah 61. Isaiah 61 and 1. Amen. When you find it, you ought to, amen, hit that like button. Say, I'm ready, Pastor. I'm ready. I'm ready. Amen. I'm ready. Amen. Hit that like button. Amen. Hit that thumbs up. Let me know you're ready. Amen. Amen. This is what it says here in Isaiah chapter 61, verse 1. He said, the spirit of the sovereign Lord is on me because the Lord has anointed me to proclaim good news to the poor. He has sent, he has sent me to, amen, bind up the broken hearts, hearted to proclaim freedom for the captives and release from darkness, amen, for the prisoners, to proclaim the year of the Lord. Listen, what's what I love about this here. This is what it said, to proclaim the year of the the Lord's favor. That's the good news right there. I'm going to stop. To proclaim the year of the Lord's amen favor. And how many know that's all favor because he said he have, he have anointed me. Amen. Even though, amen, I'm not worthy. Even though, amen, I, 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 I shouldn't be, but he, he chose me. And I stopped by to tell somebody, he chose you when others look over you. He chose you when others criticize you. He chose you when others thought, amen, you couldn't do it. You wasn't going to make it. You wasn't going to amount to anything. He still chose and anointed you, amen, to proclaim the year of the Lord. He chose you. That's why favor is on your life. That's why, amen, you ought to be able to walk, stretch your chest out and your chin up. Get your chin out of your chest. Look to the hills from which comes your help because you know your help comes from the He gave you favor in spite of the haters. Let me say it again. He gave you favor in spite of the haters. Yeah, you ought to tweet that to somebody. God gave me favor in spite of my haters. Amen. And that's some good news because your haters didn't want you to make it. Your haters that uh, wanted you to die. Your haters, amen, don't want to see you amount to anything. But God gave you favor in spite of your haters. Amen. Let's look at this. Amen. Go with me quickly, amen, to uh, Matthew. Matthew. Now this is this is the spirit, Amen. So now we have dealt with the the whole the Holy Spirit, which is Psalms fifty one, and now we dealt with the spirit of the Lord in Isaiah sixty one. Now in Matthew ten twenty, we want to deal with the spirit of your Father, the spirit of your Father, Matthew. Matthew chapter 10, Matthew chapter 10, round verse 20, if you will, amen. And we pray that we're blessing your heart tonight, amen. And I, in Matthew chapter 10, amen, round verse 20, he says, listen to what he says, this is what he says in uh, uh, Matthew chapter 10, verse 20. He said, for it will not be you speaking. Listen. This is what he said. For it will not be you speaking. It will not be you speaking. But the spirit of your father speaking through you. Sometimes we, we as people need to allow the spirit of God to speak through us. Because sometimes y'all know we can speak 
and we can speak some stuff out of our mouth, amen, that we can't take back. We can speak stuff out of our mouth and instead of us allowing the Lord to speak through us, and when the Lord speaks through us, amen, and when he speaks, it calms all fear. When he speaks, it makes every cricket place straight. When he speaks, it gives comfort. It gives understanding. But when we speak, hear me good. When we speak, amen, sometimes we can speak and it hurts. So it's the spirit of the Lord that speaks through us. Now, let me even deal with the spiritual point. Sometimes it's God need to speak. Amen. Stop going around to folk talking about the Lord told me to tell you. Sometimes it's not the Lord that told you to tell nobody nothing. You want to tell them anyway. Now you got all holy and sanctimonious and saved and sanctified. Now you want to the Lord told me to tell you something. Amen. No, sometimes that ain't the Lord. Sometimes that's yourself. Sometimes that's your own emotion and your own feelings. Amen. And you want in your own, in your own, in your own uh, hypocritical way, that's your way of getting folks straight. So we got to be careful when we talk about it's the Lord speaking to me. No, sometimes it's the Lord, Lord, sometimes telling you to shut up. Sometimes it's the Lord telling you, amen, to, to guide your tongue. Sometimes it's the Lord telling you, amen, to get yourself together. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Listen, go with me quickly. Amen. Amen. Go with me. Lord, thank you, Lord. Go into Luke chapter 9. Now it's talking about the spirit of the Lord in Luke chapter 4. In Luke chapter 4, talk about the spirit of the Lord. In Luke chapter 4, verse 18. Luke chapter 4, verse 18. Watch what he said. The Spirit of the Lord is on me because he has anointed me to preach, to proclaim the good news to the poor. He has sent me to proclaim freedom to the prisoners ah, and recover of sight for the blind. To set the oppressed free. Yes. To set the oppressed free. The spirit of the Lord. The spirit of the Lord does this. Amen. Amen. So you cannot do it without the spirit of the Lord. You got to have the spirit of the Lord. You got to be led in God. You got to be led by the spirit to do these things. You just don't go do them on your own because you want to, amen, make folk look up at you like you all of that in a bag of chip dip and some. Yeah. So, no, you've got to allow the Spirit of the Lord to lead you to do these things. Amen. You ain't anointed to go to the prison. Why are you going? Oh, God in here. You ain't anointed to do this. some things. Amen. Because the Spirit of the Lord has not anointed you to do some things. We all have gifts. Amen. And you ought to walk according to your gift and that the Lord has given you. Amen. Listen, I know my limitations on certain things in ministry. Amen. That's why I don't try to do certain things. I know my limitations. I know what the Lord has anointed me to do. And I, when I do it, I put forth my hands to do it. The Bible says whatever we do, put forth our hands to do, we ought to do it well. Amen. And when the Spirit of the Lord has given you that gift and given you and have anointed you for such of uh, such so for such of a thing, Amen. You ought to do it well and do it with pride and do it with joy. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Listen, let's go quickly to Romans chapter. Go with me to Romans chapter. Amen. Now Romans chapter 8, 11 talks about the spirit of him. Now we're dealing with the spirit of the Lord. Now we're dealing with the spirit of him. Him. And I'm glad, to, I'm glad that notation says the spirit of him because he is not an it. You know, I'm so sick of the saints of God. Amen. Ooh, I felt something. What, what you a child of God, what did you feel? You ought to know what you felt. No, I felt the power of God. I felt something. What is something? He's not a something. He's, he's a person. He's part of the trinity of God. 
He's part of that Godhead, the Trinity. Amen. It's not an it. Amen. He's a he. Amen. He's a person. He's a part of the God's head of the Trinity. Amen. Watch this. Uh, the spirit of him. Romans chapter uh, number eight. Romans chapter number eight. Amen. I'm trying to wrap it up because if I don't, I'm going to lose myself. Amen. Listen, Romans chapter number eight. Amen. The spirit of him. Romans chapter number eight. Go with me quickly, if you will. Oh, yes. Bless the Lord. Go with me quickly. Go to 11 chapter eight, verse 11. Romans chapter 8, verse 11. Amen. Romans chapter 8, verse 11. Amen. And it says, and if the spirit of him, this is what it says in Romans chapter 8, verse 11. And if the spirit of him who raised Jesus from the dead is alive, is living in you, he uh, who raised Christ from the dead will also give life to your mortal bodies because of his spirit who lives in you. Listen what it said. And if the spirit of him, glory to God, get your Bibles and read it's the spirit of him. Go with me. Now we dealt with the spirit of him. Now we're going to deal with the spirit of our God. The spirit of our God in 1 Corinthians. The spirit of our God in 1 Corinthians. Uh, chapter number 6, amen, verse 11. Amen. I, I got to get out of here. Amen. I got two more, and I want to give it to you before I go. Amen. Two more. I want to give it to you before I go. Amen. Listen, the Spirit of our God, and the Spirit of our God in 1 Corinthians chapter number 6, verse 11, amen, it says, amen, and it says, and that is what some of you were but you were washed you were sanctified you were justified in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and by the spirit of our God by the spirit of our God well, you was washed by the spirit of our God you was sanctified by the spirit of our God you was justified it was by the spirit of our God now let's go to the next one amen in 2 Corinthians chapter 3 it's the spirit of the living God the spirit of the living God 2 Corinthians amen 3 and 3 the spirit of the living God. Amen. The spirit of the living God. You show that you were that you are a amen. Love for Christ. Amen. The rescue of your ministry written not with ink but with the spirit of the living God. Not on the tables of stones but on tables of human hearts. Amen. That is the spirit of the living God. Listen, it said the spirit of the living God. Amen. Not on tables, not on stones, but on tables of human hearts. That's the spirit of the living God. He didn't put it on ink, uh, nor did he put it on stone or table, but he put it in the hearts of mankind. The living God did it. You want to thank God we serve a living God. God is not dead. He's yet alive. Amen. And you want to thank God. The last one is Holy, the Holy Spirit. It says the Holy Spirit of God. Holy Spirit of God. Ephesians. And we will wrap it up tonight. Amen. And then we will come back and finish it off. Amen. To our third. Amen. Session. Amen. On next week. Holy Spirit of God. Amen. Ephesians chapter number four. Amen. Round verse 30. Amen. When you have it, give it that thumbs up. Give that like. And we're getting out of here tonight. Amen. Listen to what it says. Uh, and do not grieve the Holy Spirit of God. Don't grieve the Holy Spirit of God. Don't grieve the
the Holy Spirit of God with whom you were sealed for the day of redemption. Do not grieve the Holy Spirit of God. Amen. Don't grieve the Holy Spirit of God. Don't grieve him. Amen. Because you are sealed unto the day of redemption. God bless you, my brothers and sisters. Amen. We dealt with the Holy Spirit and God. Amen. So next week we'll finish it up. Amen. So give God glory wherever you may be. Thumbs up, like, amen. But we gave you the word of the Lord tonight and we pray that whatever, amen, whatever you're going through, that God will meet you right where you are. Amen. He'll meet you right Lord, prepare me to be a sanctuary pure and holy tried and true and with thanksgiving I'll be a living Sanctuary, Lord, for you, Lord, prepare me to be a sanctuary, <laughs> pure and holy, tried and true. God, we know that your word will never return void. It will always accomplish that it was sent forth to accomplish. So God, we ask you to touch your people all over this land and country, continue to work throughout our country. God, even through this COVID-19, God, see your healing virtue, see your healing power. And God, we ask you to continue to bless these ministries everywhere. Churches that have been closed down for, for several, several months, God. But God, we just thank you because you know how to us sustain us and keep us. So God, we just pray, God, that you would, God, send your virtue, your anointing, healing virtue throughout our land and country, throughout our homes, throughout our families. And God, when these children are going back to school, God, cover them, protect them, watch over them, guide them into all truth. And then, God, we thank you. God, bless those people that who tuned in with us today. Give them a special anointing. Give them a special blessing. And let them know that you have not forgotten about them, but you're in the struggle with them. So we give you glory. We give you praise in Jesus' mighty and majestic name we pray. Amen. We love you, Facebook family. God bless you. God keep you. Here's our prayer. We'll see you Sunday morning. Amen. At 10 o'clock, come be with us and come and be blessed. God bless you.